Next thing we'll do is range of motion, and I'll just get Bill to do what I do. So we'll check with the shoulder flexion, where the arm goes straight forward and should go all the way up to 180 degrees. Extension, same thing going back, with the arc going back, good. And abduction, where the arm goes straight up in an arc, all the way up over your head to the top, just like that. With the shoulder, you can also test rotation. For internal rotation, you check with one thumb going to the opposite shoulder blade and do the same thing with the other side now. One thumb to the opposite shoulder blade. Good. And for external rotation, just put your hands up behind your head like this with the elbows out, and that's full external rotation. Hand out for the musculoskeletal system. But uh, I'm going to use the knee as an example just for some um, basic techniques. First of all, beginning with inspection, and as I'm sitting in front of the patient looking at, in this case, his knees, uh, I'm looking for whether there's any obvious asymmetry, uh, bruising, redness, swelling in any particular area. And I've already watched the patient as he's climbed up onto the exam table to see if there's any um, evidence of a disability or um, impact that uh, the pain or the joint problem is having on him during his movements. And so most of that inspection happens just with your eyes. Um, all right. What I may, uh, again, I'm starting to just uh, inspect the elbows to see how he's uh, holding his arm, whether he's splinting it, whether there's anything obvious that I can see just by watching him. Um, and uh, uh, what I'll start with is just have you um, move your arm, put your arms out in front of you with your elbows together. Okay. And I'm just seeing that he can extend his elbows completely and looking for symmetry in the carrying angle, the way that his um, uh, forearm is related to the upper arm. You can palpate the elbow next. You palpate the epicondyles. This is right here. That's tender in people that have epicondylitis, tennis elbow. The olecranon process back here. And you can look here next to the olecranon for any effusion, any signs of swelling.